Hey guys, so this is Helena I'm back with your 23 and 25 weeks pregnancy vlog. I like to say you some symptoms. I'm gonna start off with that because I know I've been doing my pregnancy vlogs two weeks apart from each other now since that weeks are just alike, almost alike. Um time is going by so fast guys, like my baby girl is getting so big and I can't wait to meet her. It's literally 15 weeks, 15 more weeks, yeah, of meeting her, um, more than meeting her, and it's, it's, it's crazy, like, I, I've been getting, like, I wouldn't say half flashes, but I've been, like, very emotional, crying for the littlest reasons, um, I don't know, like, being, this pregnancy was, like, the most, it made me feel, like, a little insecure made me not really, you know, think about the good things much. I kept thinking about negativity, still am. Um, and I don't know. It's just it's just been crazy lately. Um, it, it's made me feel not as beautiful as I already am. But it's like I know I'm not like ugly or like you know not a bad looking woman. It's just that these hormones, you know, sometimes you can't you can't do your hair all the time or your hair is not the way you want it you want it to be or your body your curves is not the same. You have to embrace your pregnancy curves. So you know that's something I I have to get used to until she comes. And my husband is always, my fiance is always supportive, he's always there, he's always saying you're beautiful, you know, you're not this, why would you say that? But it's just like with me, I'm like, you may not see it that way, but, you know, I, I'm, you know, I just feel like that, I don't know. But it sucks, so I'm just waiting for it to come out so I can stop feeling this way. Um, so let's get with the symptoms. Lately... Um, week 23 through 25, I've been having major back aches. Like, I find them at night, I get them really bad, and they hurt really, really bad. Um, I do get, I had got this body ache, it only lasted for like two days. I went to, I had an appointment the next day, so I told my doctor, she told me I could take Tylenol, and let me tell you, it worked. Like, I took a nap for like an hour or two, my aches were completely gone. Like, I had aches from my head down all the way to my feet. Every single part of me hurted. The cold even hurted, like, the cold was hurting my skin and my bones. That's how bad I was aching. Like, you know when you're cold, that's how you know it's really bad aches. And like, the coldness to your skin and your bones, it really hurts. So yeah, I've been really having bad heartburn lately and that same day actually when I had body aches I had bad heartburn what is it called um acid reflux and then I threw up um spaghetti sauce so they say that spaghetti sauce and like oranges and stuff like that you don't want to eat that before bed or like just lay down and me and my fiance ate that and he said it to feel sick like he said it to burp but he didn't throw up or anything like that but I, you know it wasn't just me but except for me I threw it up so um it just acid reflex we should have never just ate spaghetti and then me since I'm pregnant I'm like a savage so I'm not really I'm chewing my food but I wasn't really like chewing it the right way and digesting my food the right way as well so now I just take my time eating, make sure I chew my food thoroughly, and then, you know, sit up for a little while to digest my food. Um, my daughter's been picky lately. Like, I can't eat certain stuff. She won't let me. Um, I've been loving cereal. Like, a French toast cereal. Fruit Loops. I love it. Um, I've been getting really... Well, a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions lately. And how I deal with them is I just breathe and then they go away. 
I notice her going to like the left side of my stomach. There's like a big lump sometimes. She goes to the left side. So she's been moving. And yesterday she kicked 62 times within three minutes. So I was like, wow, you know, that's amazing. She's kicking a lot. And I've been doing Kijel, Kijel, Kijel exercises, however you pronounce them. <laughs> um, they've been helping. They're very relaxing. Some of them I cannot do. They, they are a little bit painful, so I just don't do them. I tried. I gave it a shot, but some of them are just, you know, I hate it. Very uncomfortable. And I believe it was the last week or the 23rd week of my pregnancy. I had to wake up to use the bathroom and my fiance was laying down next to me sleep and I didn't fully wake myself up. Um, basically I went downstairs, my body was up but my mind wasn't. So I went down the stairs and I slipped. So like I fell all the way down the stairs, halfway down the stairs. I didn't bump my stomach, thank God. I didn't tumble, I was just sliding on my butt all the way down the stairs. And when I mean I couldn't sleep, I couldn't sleep throughout the whole night, pretty much I was afraid. She was kicking me, I think I scared her, you know, she was kicking me for like two hours straight without stopping. So I had to like drink tea and then so she can like be soothed back to sleep. and. Eventually, you know, it's warm, so she did that, and she finally fell asleep, let me go back to sleep. And I was just nervous, and, you know, my mother woke up, my my fiancé woke up, they were, like, panicking, they, they heard ba boom and they rushed out the room, and asked if I was okay, that if I bumped my stomach, and I'm like, no. And, like, if you want to go to the hospital, you feel any pain, I'm like, no, I'm fine. I was just really scared because, you know, like, I really didn't want nothing to happen. And I'm in love with my daughter already, so if anything, God forbid, were to happen, I don't know what I would do. I would probably go insane and, you know. But I thank God that it was just a little slip in the butt. Now I'm holding on the rail and I'm not going down so fast. And I'm making sure I breathe and open my eyes and wake up before I just rush to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Because usually she'll wake me up at 5 um, in the morning to use the bathroom. And another thing, I I was going to have surgery to take out one of my implants, my back dermal implants, and um, I believe it was scheduled for. Oh, this is not the I believe it was scheduled for. Um, for. Uh, it was scheduled for next week or September or something, but um, I denied it because they were talking about like numbing my back a lot and me taking like pain killers the day after. So I said, "What the heck? I'm gonna just deal with it and get on with it." You know, I don't want my daughter to come out with any defects because of the medication or just any problems go wrong or if I'm in too much pain and bleeding too much so I'll just keep it in or whatever and do it on my own time or just keep it in and deal with it. It was a little bit sore at first when she was growing and she didn't like it or she was making it swollen but now it doesn't hurt me when I'm asleep I barely notice it so I'm just gonna keep it there. Oh and I've still been using this Stretch Marks um, Cocoa Butter Palmer and um this is excellent. And I'm just and coconut oil. I can't see. I've been telling you guys I could finally show you. So yeah. And I've been using that all around my chest area, my stomach, my back, and my hips. So that's been really, really good. I actually wanna show you guys. Um, it's really hard to find like newborn coats and since it's going to be November, December when she comes home, she's going to be well dressed underneath but you know this is the closest I found to the, the smallest. The other Hello Kitty one that I found was 3 to 6. It's still pretty small but it's a little bit longer and bigger. So I found this one. It's simple. It's, it's pretty warm. It's thick. You know it should be good. 
for the ride home with a blanket and long sleeve and pants and cover you know so it's a little giraffe and it's just cute it has like a little flap and then it comes with a hoodie so this is the smallest I found and I was a little bit like upset because I couldn't find the mitten part but I'll just get some mittens this is 0 to 3 by the way and I believe I paid $8 for it so pretty much in New York how they do it is they'll charge you they'll charge you less money when it's like still summer so um I'm trying to buy everything I need now before it gets too cold and all the prices go up and I'm having a baby shower so my mother and family members told me I have to buy too much I'm actually going to buy her stroller this weekend so that's like the last thing I'm gonna buy and um, just some diapers I guess and that's about it all I have to get um, oh yeah and I would like to also show you my um, I should do this separately I think because it's like a go home well no it's an outfit to have her in and then like an outfit to change into after so yeah I think I'm gonna just save this for when I do packing my hospital bag since I'll be doing that in the next five weeks from now <laughs> so I'll leave that for another time um, I guess I'll show you guys my belly right now. Okay. So this is the front with the shirt on. This is the side. And this is the side. my shirt up As you can see no stretch marks so I thank God for them because I do model and stuff so he's really blessing me and this is a 25 week belly guys I'm still tiny but I'm getting there like I'm only 5'1 and my last appointment I just gained 121 pounds so I'm happy I got my weight back and everything so you know I'm gaining my weight she's healthy you know they don't they don't even do sonograms they just do feel sorry Doppler um, fetal heartbeat so you can hear it every appointment but I know coming my 30 week, I see other um, pregnancy vlogs and stuff like that. That they start to do your, um, they start to do your appointments every two weeks or once a week or something like that when you get close to your time. So I'm not really worried about it. Me and my fiance are planning to get a 4D ultrasound so we can see the baby clearly, see how she's gonna look a little bit. You know, I would love to see it, so we're thinking about that soon. But I'm definitely going to purchase her stroller, and I'll show you guys when it comes. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I don't know. This video wasn't, I wasn't too, too, like, excited making. Um, because... I don't know, I'm just like in a drowsy mood. The weather's changing in New York, so it's getting a little cool. And it's like I don't even know how to react to it because I love the cold so much, so I'm like so excited. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but take care, and I hope you guys watch, and I hope you guys share all around the world. And also, just take it easy. Don't stress yourself out. You're beautiful. All to you women that are trying to conceive and have babies and the ones that are actually pregnant and the ones already had babies that are still watching that are playing for their second 
So take care and I would love to see you guys soon. Later.